big news out of General Motors and Allison Transmission uh, yesterday. Um, now, what I'm saying here is it looks like General Motors and Allison is parting ways uh, at the end of this year, uh, December 31st, 2025. Now, as of the time of this recording, this video, folks, um, things can change tomorrow. So, you know, there's nothing that's put in stone officially here, but looks like they're moving on in separate ways in a way separate ways uh you'll learn more here in the video but anyways thank you for stopping by uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so and let's get on with the video here now it seems like general's motors licensing agreement to use the allison transmission name and badging on its heavy duty pickup trucks is expiring at the end of december 2025 after which general motors will remove the badges from new vehicles now, this is a very interesting topic because, you know, um, if for you though, for you folks that are more educated on this topic, please let me know in the comments and share with me on, with the video there. So, so the key details here: General Motors sold its Allison transmission to private equity firms, the Carlisle Group and Onex Corporation in August of 2007, making Allison an independent entity. So before 2007, General Motors was making, according to this statement, was making their own transmission. And for some reason, as we get into the video here, they decided to sell that part of their, of their company or whatever you want to call it to uh, an independent firm, the Carlisle Group or the ONX Corporation, and make the transmission a brand and call it Allison. Now, could be wrong, but as we go along, you'll learn more here. So continued partnership though, despite the separation that's going to happen, General Motors has continued to use transmissions developed in partnership with or designed by Allison in its heavy duty HD trucks, notably the 10L1000 10 speed automatic transmission, and use the Allison brand name under a licensing agreement. Now, expiring agreement, this is what is expiring on the 31st of December. The licensing agreement for General Motors to use the Allison name on its Chevy HD and the GMC Sierra HD trucks is set to expire on December 31st of 2025. Future changes, starting in December 2025, General Motors will stop applying Allison badges to these pickup trucks and must retrofit any remaining 2025, 2026 models on dealer lots with new badges before June of 2026. So if there's any of those vehicles sitting on the lots uh, in, from December onward, according to that statement, they have to uh, update the badging. Now, in essence, now this is Allison Transmission is not leaving General Motors. So this is where it gets a little confusing. As they are a separate company, but the public branding partnership for General Motors HD trucks, uh, pickup trucks, is still is coming to an end. Allison still provides transmissions for General Motors medium duty commercial trucks. So what they're saying here is the Allison transmission is still going to be in the truck, but the branding partnership where they put the brand on the side of the truck saying it's an Allison transmission is coming to an end. So I, I think that's the way it's going to be. That's the way I'm reading it. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, they also goes on to say the end of the General Motors and Allison brand agreement is a major development in automotive branding and manufacturing. So Allison transmission, which has been independently, you know, as an independent company 
which GM sold in 2007, is terminating the licensing agreement that allowed General Motors to place the Allison badge on its heavy duty pickup. So some key reasons and context here. Brand reputation. Reports suggest that Allison Transmission was considered, sorry, was concerned about its brand reputation being associated with the GM 10 speed automatic transmission. Ah, now it's getting even interesting. Used in the HD trucks. The GM manufactured transmission. Hear that? The GM manufactured transmission while co-developed with Allison. So General Motors made the transmission and Allison was just helping them, helping them along with the development. Has faced significant scrutiny and safety recalls due to issues that could cause the rear axle to lock up while driving. So Allison did the validation and testing for the transmission design, but it was built in a GM facility. So again, some key points here. Allison did the validation and testing of the transmission, but it was built in the GM facility. Okay, so as we go along here, customer perception is versus reality. Many consumers believe they were getting a true Allison transmission, like the robust units in commercial trucks, when they saw the badge on their Silverado or the Sierra HD trucks. The actual transmission in the HD pickups, the 10L1000, is a GM-built unit, which some believe is subpar compared to the commercial-grade transmission also Allison is known for. The badge was seen more as a branding exercise than an indicator of a commercial-duty Allison product. Business decision. The end of the licensee agreement is likely to strategically decision by Allison to protect its core commercial transmission brand from potential devaluation caused by the quality concerns and recalls of the GM produced units. So now I get it. So the GM built transmission uh, for the the lighter duty HD trucks has had some issues, but it had the Allison brand name attached to the transmission. And by the sounds of this statement, I could be wrong. They didn't want to be associated with it, uh, knowing that Allison transmissions are, you know, a reliable product that they use for their heavier trucks. So they're just parting ways a little bit and just taking the Allison brand name off. But all in all, by the sounds of things, you've been getting a GM built transmission right up till now. Uh, and it had a, a, an Allison badge put on the side of it. But Allison did help co-develop and test the transmission is more or less what I'm reading here. Now, the future outlook, there's going to be no mechanical change. So whether if you bought a truck last year and it had the Allison transmission stamped on the side of the truck or you bought a new truck in uh, July of 2026, the transmission is the same, built in the same plant, but it just won't have the Allison brand on the side of the, of the truck. The actual transmission, the 10L1000 10 speed automatic, automatic, will continue to be used in GM's heavy duty trucks. Only the badge will be removed, is what they're saying here. Uh, new badging. The new badges are expected to focus on other key components, such as the Duramax diesel or the Vortec gasoline engines. So you're going to get a new badge on the side of the Duramax or the gas truck. The medium duty partnership continues. Now this is where it gets a little more clear and understanding. All Allison transmissions will continues will continue its its existing relationship with GM for the medium duty commercial trucks. 
the Chevrolet Silverado 4500 HD, the 5500 HD, and the 6500 HD chassis cabs, for which Allison manufactures and supplies the actual transmissions. There you go, folks. So Allison is actually building and supplying those transmissions in a whole separate place and a whole different company, whole different uh, manufactured assembly line is what they're saying that will be put into the 4500, the 5500, and 6500. It's not, those transmissions are not specifically built at a GM transmission plant. Uh, so what they're saying here is potential sales impact. Some industry watchers speculate the loss of the trusted Allison name might negatively affect sales of the GM's HD pickup trucks as it removes a significant historical branding element that has been a mainstay, you know, since the 1950s. So, again, very interesting to see what happens here. Um, you know, in hindsight, if you still like the Chevy Silverado and the HD Sierra, I wouldn't worry about it because, again, mechanically wise, nothing's changing. Uh, according to this this official statement here that was released, nothing is changing mechanically wise. It's just the branding that you won't see on the side of the truck. That's what I'm getting from it. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you liked the video. Again, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you again in the next one.